Welcome to Dependable Flame, where we explore vintage petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana, and other useful mechanisms. Make yourself at home. Today we have a vintage, possibly antique, I doubt it, but definitely vintage, Walker and Hall of Sheffield, silver plated figural column petrol table lighter. You can see plenty of wear to the plating. This is a very heavy lighter. I have carpal tunnel and uh, probably going to have to switch up the hands a little in this video than I would normally simply because of the weight. I didn't weigh it but it wouldn't surprise me if it weighed a pound. I said figural column and some people may say it resembles something else but you can see where it looks like maybe something that could have been at the Parthenon in Greece or somewhere in Rome Athens Places like that, places where men wore togas, and wrapped leaves in their hair. Nonetheless, a very attractive lighter that is a little bit more distinctive than many other table lighters that I have encountered. It works similarly to a trench lighter. Sort of the like a lipstick lighter. Just got a cover a wheel and a wick cover there is your snuffer go ahead and pull this insert out and you can see that it has a little bit more heft to it than a lipstick lighter or even most trench type lighters this is uh this is some heavy equipment the wadding is definitely
appears to be colored from age. The file wheel is somewhat marred up and at times a little clunky because of it. So far it seems like it ignites better if I keep that wick forward as far as possible. I know a little bit about hallmarks and sterling silver, gold, and that kind of thing. So I wasn't real sure what I was looking at here until I looked it up. I knew it wasn't sterling or anything like that. English sterling mark is generally a lion or sterling or whatever it is, 925 or whatever the numbers are. But this was a WNH, which I quickly discovered is Walker and Hall of Sheffield. And the two other marks are the date marks, which I was not able to decipher or necessarily find a chart whereby I could endeavor to do that but that really is of no consequence to me it's an old lighter that is working and apparently Walker and Hall was better about marking things than other companies. Apparently it can be somewhat precisely dated by these markings here, the what appears to be an S and a Z. But they weren't required to do that by English law as they were for sterling and gold and I don't know, maybe some other kind of precious metals as well. This lighter shows plenty of damage. Scuffs, scrapes, plating loss. It's a very heavy and solid metal base which was rusted out. So I fitted a piece of felt on there. The cap doesn't fit real tight, but works fairly well and uh, serves its purpose. Definitely see dents, scarring to the bottom of that metal scrapes and as I said earlier plating loss must have uh, the top really took some abuse it's just bare brass there it's very light though I don't know maybe it's just because it's so thin I'm not sure that that whole piece is brass has some decorative implements if you enjoy watching videos about old petrol lighters, ashtrays, tobacchiana and other useful mechanisms please subscribe to the channel please like the video that you're watching tell your friends about the channel hit the share button Send that link off in a text. 
email, post it on social media, however it is that you communicate with folks nowadays, and let them get a look at it for themselves. You can leave any comments or questions below the video. We would also appreciate it if you would follow and like us across all the social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and of course eBay. Until next time.